before we get officially started, I wanted to show you guys and let you guys know that Wow African is now selling lashes okay so we have three different styles right here that i want to show you we have the daisy that's my absolute favorite we have the malibu girl and we have the london wispies now i didn't try any of them on though because i have on lash extensions but you will be seeing me wear these lashes in a couple of videos hey guys what is up it is your girl simone here welcome back to my channel so today in this video we are working with wow african i have this gorgeous body wave lace frontal wig that's 20 inches and 150% density. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and just pluck my hairline. I didn't pluck a lot. If you want to go ahead and go all out, do what you got to do. But don't pluck too much because it will end up being bald on the hairline. So to get started on the wavy hairline tutorial, I'm just going to create a rounded motion on the middle part of the lace front. And that's where I usually make my fake widow's peak. It's just a thing that I do, I like it. And then I'm going to create this wavy line going down to the ears on both sides the left and the right of the wig. Careful not to make too small waves. If you make the waves too small, you'll just have a lot of cutting and a lot of baby hairs um, out because you'll have to cover it. <laughs> so don't do small waves, do larger waves if you can. I'm just using a chalk to outline in case you guys are curious. Let me go into a little bit more detail. Where the arrows are, is where the waves obviously are sticking out. That is where the baby hairs are going to cover. The whole point of this method is to give you a more natural hairline. If you're not a fan of the method where you just cut straight across and you want a little more of a natural look, then definitely opt in for the wavy hairline. Um, if you don't like baby hairs, but you also like the hair to swoop in a certain way, definitely opt in for the wavy hairline. It kind of gives you more flexibility and it just, again, just looks a tad bit more natural if you're not a fan of the simple straight cut. And also this is not a permanent decision. So if you're doing this and you feel, oh my God, I have too much lace um, left onto the wig, definitely go in and trim off any of the excess. So what I'm doing right now is just combing the hair back, making it all uniformed, making it a little bit easier for when I actually install the wig. I'm basically setting the hair. So as you can see right here, I'm trimming off some excess lace. And now we're gonna go straight into installing. Now I haven't, the method that I'm about to show you guys, I have not done in so long. Um, I'm not usually a fan of the Gotta Be Glue gel, but for some reason today I wanted to try it. Um, sometimes some products just don't work with your skin anymore. When I first started doing wigs, Gotta Be Glue gel was like my thing. It went well with my skin. Now, for some reason, if I use Gotta Be Glue gel, <laughs> It flakes, it used to never flake, but the Gotta Be Glue Holding Spray and I are best friends. This gel, we still have a love-hate relationship and I think in this video, it kind of showed its ass. <laughs> so I think I'm a little bit done with the Gotta Be Glue gel after this video, um, but it was nice to go back to <laughs> the basics and try it out once more. So you can see it's nice and melted right here. It has a nice little hold. Um, careful not to use too much, because again, this thing does turn white after a while. And one thing I do want to say, in case I forget, is I was highly impressed by this lace. I'll tell you that much. Now, again, it is a little bit lighter for my skin. It's very, you know, has a little tint <laughs> so that part i wasn't a fan of but i had to really put a lot of work in it to make the color match my skin and i think once i did that it definitely did show that you know it does look really well but if you're ordering this and if they do have different color lace options i would say go with the darker color So here I am working on the left side. Again, remember those waves, wherever the waves stick out the most is where you're gonna cut the baby hairs and really give it some nice swoops.
and the setting foam that i am using is olive oil the olive oil brand i think it's ors i think <laughs> but you guys know i love the setting foam i've been using it for the last year i mean every now and then i change brands but i love this one and it smells so freaking good so that's always a plus Okay, so the hair is slightly drying, but it's not fully dry, but I'm going to go ahead and just perfect my middle part. And then I actually want to just um, tie this down actually to just make sure everything stays in place. And then I plucked my part to be a tad bit wider. And I did go in between using a hot comb and a blow dryer to flatten out the top. But you can use either or, you don't have to use both. Keep that in mind, please. And then I have some powder foundation near, near my skin color. And I'm just gonna dab it on the lace so that the white part of the lace is a little bit more, is a little muted and more transparent and matches my skin. So honestly, absolutely love this wig. Love the wave on this wig, love the curl on the wig. I haven't really worn a middle part in a long time and actually loved how it looked on me. So this one did me, did a great job. I loved it, it's light, it's airy and it feels really good. So honestly, I love it. I had a great video. I hope you guys like the whole wavy hairline technique and I'll see you babes in my next video. Bye.